Hey everybody, Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. We are in the middle of, actually we're coming to the end, of the 20 day, one video every day, Monday through Friday in July 2024. So if you've watched this later, it was a run we did in July of 2024, giving you tips, techniques, training, and lifestyle on how you can live as a life insurance agent in this incredible industry. So I've been kind of waiting to do this video, been kind of preparing for it. It's going to be a really quick video, but it's leads explained. There's a lot of confusion out there about leads. I, I look, I get people making comments. You can see some on some of the videos here in the month of July about I've dialed 3,500 times, haven't reached a single person. Folks, there's virtually no way mathematically that's possible. If you're working free leads, look, folks, there's nothing free worth anything that's free in life, okay? So the reason why they're free is that they've been, they've been passed around the industry a hundred times, right? No one's giving away free, fresh leads. And usually they've been, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten agents have had them. They're one, two, three, four years old. And yes, you're going to dial those leads forever trying to find one person to answer the phone and that one person that might be interested in booking an appointment. So this is a leads-based sales opportunity, and I wanted to kind of explain it. We've talked about this before, but I wanted to kind of talk about it again because it, it, there still seems to be this, this anger amongst certain people that think there's a big, a big scam going on and these IMOs are making a ton of money on leads, and that's just not true. Leads are a means to the end. In other words, just like any business, you advertise to get people through the front door. These IMOs that own their own lead generation companies, they mail to get people to respond to mortgage section or final expense to then turn around and sell them to the agent at a reduced cost, usually at a loss. It costs about $100 to produce a direct mail lead in today's market. That direct mail lead will sell from $40 to $80, depending on the IMO that's selling it. So they're taking a reduced price and it's exclusive to that agent right for usually six to nine weeks then if that agent that has that brand new lead doesn't make a sale then they'll sell it to another agent at a substantially reduced price and so typically how it works and i'm going to show you is that the a lead will have it for six to ten weeks then they'll turn around if no one's sold it in the insurance can't get hold of the person or whatever then they'll sell it to the b lead agent that B agent pays about six bucks. And then they'll sell it again 10 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks later as a C agent. And then it's going to just kind of stay on the books as a free lead. Somebody will get it for free somewhere down the line because they'll buy it for 10 cents and they'll give it to a brand new struggling agent who's going to make $3,500, not book one single appointment, get discouraged, and quit the business. That's the downside I don't care for, right? So, and that's, you can work free leads. You might make a sale. Look, a blind dog finds a bone sooner or later. But generally speaking, I found that new agents, they got to make money in the 30 days, the first 30 days that they're gone. You, know, you can get some free leads to a, to a seasoned agent who's had some experience and has some success because in general, they may stick around by just kind of putting those leads into a mix and maybe they'll get some, maybe they won't, but they, they have a different mentality, a different expectation, and they're mixing it in with newer leads. That's the idea. That's why that person is complaining. That's why she's discouraged. Uh, I don't know if she's dialed them all or not and how many times that she's dialed and if she's double dialed, triple dialed. There's a lot of things I don't know about her process, but the fact that they're free, I know enough to know that she's going to get discouraged and probably like they quit and leave the business. This is a leads-based sales opportunity, and I'll tell you in a little bit that you don't need to buy leads to be in this business, but if you want to scale your income, then leads is the most predictable guaranteed way to do it if you work the numbers you work the ratios you cannot fail the success in this business if you're working leads is nothing more than a mathematical equation every lead has a conversion ratio and every lead has expressed interest at some point in buying or purchasing some mortgage section final expense life insurance doesn't mean they're going to buy it means that you pay for the opportunity to have a conversation with somebody about something they at one time were interested in. That's what it means. Buying leads doesn't mean they're, you're going to get sales. There is no guarantees in life. There's certainly no guarantees in sales. If you're buying direct mail leads, they are the gold standard. It means that at some point, they got a form in the mail from the IMO or their lead generation company. They hand wrote their information in it, name, address, smoke, non-smoke, and put it in an envelope and mailed it back to the IMO. That or the lead generation company. That is the highest intent you can possibly get with a lead. They obviously wanted it or they wouldn't have gone through that process. It's exclusive, that lead is, 
to you with that IMO. Now, here's the thing. You got a lot of different IMOs, a lot of different lead generation companies buying the exact same data and ma mailing a similar or the exact same letter. So it doesn't mean it's exclusive in the industry. It means the IMO is not going to sell to another agent for six to 10 weeks. It's going to give you exclusivity, at least ours does. I don't know about everybody else's, but usually they do, for a certain period of time. If you don't sell it during that time, the likelihood of you selling it is slim to none. So they're going to sell it to another agent who's just starting out working once and needs to work lesser expensive leads that knows that one other agent in their IMO may be calling it or may have called it. Those leads convert. Every lead has a conversion ratio. If that A or B agent doesn't sell any insurance, it'll then drop to a C. C is in Charlie. And that's really where it, uh, then you go D and, and it becomes a free lead. 